All right, we're back at the cliff jump spot where I found six Apple iPhone watches magnet fishing and now we're going scuba diving. This is gonna be incredible. Today we're going scuba diving to the bottom of this flooded quarry that's been abandoned for over a hundred years. I found so much treasure magnet fishing here that basically all of you told me in the comments of last week's video that I have to go scuba diving to the bottom with my Nomad. It's very deep and the water's murky so it's gonna be super creepy. <laughs> But the reason I'm doing this is because of you. If you haven't seen last week's video, I recommend yeah. you stop watching now and go check that episode out. There's a link below. To get some motivation before we dive into the dark abyss, here's some highlights of the amazing treasure hall we found magnet fishing in the first episode at this popular cliff jump. <laughs> oh, I've got a GoPro, Nikki. I didn't even see that. This is gonna be a great spot. Let's see. Oh, I've got oh, an Apple Watch. Oh my gosh, I've got an Apple Watch right there. Super cool. Let's go again. Yeah. Here we go, what do we got? What do we got? I see something shiny. Oh, I've got an iPhone. No way. Is that an iPhone? It's a watch. Another one. Two in a row. Three. <laughs> Three. Three. Have a look at that. Oh, I got a pair of AirPods. No way, what's a pair of AirPods doing down there? <gasps> oh my gosh, another Apple Watch. Nikki, <laughs> that's four Apple Watches. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, Nikki. Two Apple Watches. <laughs> Holy moly. Have a look at that. Two more of them, how have we got now? Six of them. I've never found an Apple Watch before, and now I've got six of them. That is so cool. All right, we're doing it again. We're going back to the honey hole, and now we're going scuba diving. This is gonna be incredible. This is where we're going diving again today. It used to be in Quarry. They hit a spring in 1899. It's filled up with water. You can look here how deep this place is. So I'm actually nervous, it's super dark. It's really deep, there are people there, so it's all this way. You guys dropped a lot of thumbs up and comments and asked me to go scuba diving, so we're going scuba diving today. There's people there cliff jumping right now. I've been jumping here since I was a kid. It's actually pretty high, and we found a GoPro yesterday and the footage was from 2014. So now we're back again, and we're gonna go to the bottom, so people are dropping sunglasses, jewelry, uh, phones, watches, you name it, it's all gonna be down there because once it's hit the bottom there, it's never coming back, it's super deep. Let's see if she jumps. It's nerve wracking. Yeah! <laughs> There's one more necklace for me. <laughs> We've got a lizard blocking the path here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> this guy's called a water dragon. They hang around water holes like this. They're actually pretty tame because they see a lot of people here. Hello, mate. <laughs> We saw him yesterday, I think. It's the same one. How you going? Good, mate. You all right? So now I'm going scuba diving. I'm getting wet. I'm going to jump in the right way. Let's do a big jump. Woo! There we go. That's an entrance to our treasure hunt, isn't it? Now let's get the gear on and get in there. I would say get wet, but we've already done that. <laughs> So I pulled this stick out earlier when I was magnet yeah. fishing, so I know it sinks. So I've tied my rope there. I'm just going to throw it out and use this as a guide underwater because it's going to be pitch black down there. I won't see a thing. Yeah. That worked pretty good. Yeah, so that's sunk all the way down now. That'll be my guide. I've got my dive torch. This is my dive gear, so what I'm using. This is a Nomad. And here it floats on the surface, pumps air down that black tube, and I can breathe underwater 10 meters for up to 45 minutes with this. So. That should be long enough to find enough treasure. Then I've got some treasure bags to fill up. Oh, this is going to be so good. Let's go find some treasure. <laughs> yeah. All right. You go in there, Nomad. Let's do this.
As I'm making my way down the rope, have a look to the left. You see this silt layer. It's super creepy. There it is, just to the left there. And it's like a floor bottom. So I'm going down, I'm following the rope, and that's my guide. It's kind of going out into the middle area of the dive. Look at that floor. That's the silt bottom. Oh my gosh, this is super creepy. It's not an actual floor bottom. It's just where the silt layer sits. So I have to go beneath that to get to the bottom. But that means I'm not going to be able to see anything. I'm just hoping I can find the bottom of this rope where the stick is so I can get to my location and hopefully get to some treasure. Now I'm through the silt layer. Look how dark it's got. Just pitch black. I can't see a thing. I don't know where I am. I'm just searching around and I still haven't hit the bottom. I am freaking out here, man. <laughs> I'm not even close to where I thought I was. It turns out the stick was floating. It's so deep down here. I think I'm gonna have to abort this mission. Yeah, it's so scary. and so cold down there. Oh. The stick that's holding the rope that's marking my location just isn't working out, so I've gone back to the cliff. And what I'm doing, because I can't make it to the bottom, I'm just looking at the steps on the cliff edge just to see if there's any sunglasses, rings, but as you can see, super dusty. There's so much silt on there from all the years. Even if I did get to the bottom, it must be like three feet deep in silt. It's just incredible. But so cool just to have a look around here. <laughs> So scary down there, super deep. I think I maxed out the Nomad, 10 meters, and uh, could not see a thing in front of me. Whew. Oh my gosh, my heart's racing. <laughs> I think I'd prefer to do that if I had someone else with me, but yeah, so scary. The treasure can stay here. It's not worth it. We just do it for fun. But, you know, if I came back and I had a buddy here with me, I'd go, but for now, no treasure today. Forget murky dark water. Coming up next week, Nikki and I go diving in the most beautiful beach with the clearest water you've ever seen in your life. Only accessible by four-wheel drive, this hotspot is absolutely filled with treasure. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification because you won't want to miss this adventure as our treasure hunting road trip in Australia continues.